Okay, so we will start tonight. Praise God. This is the night that the Lord has made and we will rejoice tonight. You no, know, for God is good at meron naman siyang panibagong gagawin niya sa atin at marami na naman tayo ngayon matututunan sa gabing ito. Amen? Our faith will continue to grow as we study the Word of God. So we will start in the Word sa Proverbs 2. Sinabi niya dito, My son, if you receive my words and treasures my commands within you, so that you incline your ear to wisdom and apply your heart to understanding. Yes, if you cry out for discretion and lift up your voice for understanding. If you seek her as silver and search for her as for hidden treasures, then you will understand the fear of the Lord and find knowledge of God. For the Lord gives wisdom and his mouth Calm knowledge and understanding. He stores up sound wisdom for the upright. He is a shelter to those who walk uprightly. He guards the path of justice and preserves the way of his sense. Praise God. Then you will understand righteousness and justice, equity, and every good path. When wisdom enters into your heart and knowledge is pleasant to your soul, Discretion will preserve you. Understanding will keep you. Kagabi lang na that we will desire. Ask God no, to have understanding in the word of God. Because understanding will keep you to deliver you from the way of the evil, from the man who speaks perverse things. For those who leave the path of uprightness to walk in the ways of darkness. Praise God. So ito yun. Ngayong gabi, Kailangan na naman tayong mag-release ng faith. Lord, give me more understanding. I want more wisdom. I want more knowledge in the truth. Kasi ito yung magpipreserve sa atin. Malalakaran po talaga natin ang plano ni God sa ating mga buhay. Amen? So let us pray. Father, once again tonight, we give you praise, we give you glory, and we give you honor. And Lord, we thank you so much, O God, for the increase of wisdom, for the increase of the knowledge for the increase their God, hallelujah, the knowledge, the wisdom, wisdom and the knowledge and the revelation of God in the knowledge of the word. And Father, we thank you, God, for the increase of the spiritual understanding. Lord, we want to understand your word and we can understand. We can understand. We can hear. We can hear. We can hear from you, Lord. We can hear from you. We're inclining our ears tonight to you, God, because we want to hear from you. We know, dear God, that faith comes from hearing and hearing the word of God, hearing and hearing the word of God. So we believe that we will hear from you tonight in Jesus' name. You will speak to us, Lord. We open our heart to you. We open our ears to you, dear God. And we can see, we can hear, we can see, we can hear what you want us to see tonight, what you want us to hear tonight in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We're all blessed. And thank you for the utterances. Yes, thank you, God, for the rich utterances tonight. Thank you, Father God, for the illustration. Thank you, God, for the simplicity of your word. Thank you, Father, for the anointing. Hallelujah. And we acknowledge the Holy Spirit is our teacher tonight. You will speak as strong tonight, Holy Spirit. You will speak as strong tonight in Jesus' name. We believe we receive it now. Amen and amen. So... Welcome to our new topic. Ang topic po natin ngayon is Keys to Greater Revelation. Amen? Yung pinag-aralan po natin, no? Uh, how to increase our level of hearing. So from one light to another light. No? From one revelation to another revelation. So ngayon, I'm so excited. No, na... Hanggang hindi natin, hindi mare-reveal sa atin ang truth, yung plano ni God, yung purpose ni God, yung will ni God, wala tayong malalakaran. Sa so, Deuteronomy 22, 29, 20, 29, 29 ba The secret things belong to the Lord, our God, but those things which are revealed belong to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. 
without the revelation. God revealed his word to us so that we will know and at the same time, we will do it. Kasi pag hindi yan nare-reveal yun, wala kang alam. So paano natin malalakaran ang plan ng God sa ating mga buhay? Sa Isaiah 60, verse 1, Arise, shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you. Arise, shine, for the light has come. Amen? How should the light come if we were not open? If we are not willing? Amen? To hear if we are not willing to know. So, ang key is willingness. So, if a person is down in life, they are not down because of bad luck. They are not down because of pandemic. They are down because of a lack of light, a lack of revelation. Once light comes, you have the ability and capacity to arise. Amen. So, ang, ang, ang kakulangan ngayon sa mundong ito ay hindi. Dahil sa sitwasyon, kundi kulang sa liwanag. Kulang sa revelation. Kulang sa truth. No, hindi nila alam yung truth. Kaya nagkaroon ng hindi maganda. But if you are in the light, if you are in the truth, if God revealed to you something, if you got, if you have a spiritual understanding concern everything, then you will continue to rise up. You will continue to shine. Amen. For the light has come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Kagaya ngayon, medyo maluwanag na ako because the light has come. Amen. Di ako satisfied. I need more light. I need more light. Kung sinubukan ko, wow. The light has come. Kaya medyo lumiwanag na ako ngayon. Amen. Satisfied ako. Ganun sa buhay po natin. Pag walang light, pag mayroong darkness, walang bad situation, kailangan mo lang talagang liwanag. Amen. So, ano kailangan natin gawin? No keys to, re to greater revelation. First, open your spiritual eyes and ears. We need to open our spiritual eyes and our spiritual ears. Sa Matthew 13, verse 15. For the hearts of these people have grown dull, their ears are hard of hearing, and their eyes they have closed, lest they should see with their eyes and hear with their ears, lest they should understand with their hearts and torn, so that I should heal them. Hallelujah. We're praying for the healing of the nation. We're praying for the restorations of our nation. Not only the nation of the world, but unless they will not open their eyes and ears, there's no healing. Amen? Kaya yung prayer po natin, that the people, because it is the will of God that everyone will be saved. It, it, God has a good plan. Pinag-aralan natin kagabi, that before the foundations of the world, God already know us. He knew us and He has a plan for our life. He has a purpose in our life. But if we are not open, will not let our eyes open and ears are open in spiritual, we cannot see those things. Amen? We need to open our eyes. Just as you can open your physical eyes and ears at all, at will, no? Kalooban mo, ginusto mong ibukas mo yung mga mata mo, physical at saka ears, ganun din dapat ang spiritual. Amen? So whenever you desire, so you can also open your spiritual ears and ears for revelation. Amen? Mayroon dalawa. We are, di ba? Uh, ano ba? Ano ba? We have the inner man and the outer man. The inner man has eyes and ears. Yung tinatawag ko yun, spiritual ears, spiritual eyes. Outer man, ito yung ating natural eyes at saka ears. Okay. Ito ang ating natural, no? Pwede mo siyang ibukas, tainga mo ibukas, kahit saan, kung anong gusto mong titingnan. Ganon din yung, para magkita mo yung panglabas, nakita mo yung outward situation, outward. Ito nakita natin yung nature. But there is in the inside, the inner man has spiritual eyes also and ears. 
Once you open that, once you open your spiritual ears and spiritual eyes, ano makikita mo yun? Revelation. No? Magkaroon ka ngayon ng revelation. So how do you open your spiritual eyes and ears? By choice. By decision. And by faith. Your eyes and ears are already blessed. The veil is removed already in Christ. Hallelujah. It has been given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Nung kagay pinag-aralan po natin that we have the ability, the capacity to hear. So ganun din po, we have the ability no, to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Ang tanong lang, do you really want to see and hear what the Lord will say to you? Kasi kung ayo talaga natin na malaman natin no ang gusto ni God sa buhay po natin it's our choice. Kaya pipiliin mo hindi ako hindi ko bubuksan is prayer. Yung yung di ka talaga magde-desire na malaman mo ang kalooban ng Panginoon sa buhay mo. Amen. Kasi takot ka ngayon baka mayroong i-unveil si God sa iyo. No? Takot ka ngayon na mayroong kang malalaman na gusto ipapagawa ni God sa buhay mo o patungkol sa mo, sa buhay mo. Matthew 6, 13 verse 16. But blessed are your eyes for the see and your ears for the hear. Our eyes is already blessed. Our ears are already blessed. So, blessed na siya. Makakita na pala siya. Makakarinig na pala siya. Pero hanggang hindi tayo, hindi tayo mag-desisyon na buksan natin ang ating spiritual ears, buksan natin ang ating spiritual eyes, then wala tayo makikita. Kasi sinabi niya, lest you will know, lest you will hear. Ayaw mo. Mark 4, verse 11. And he said to them, To you it has been given to know the mastery of the kingdom of God, but to those who are outside, all things comes in parable. But kapatid, kung ikaw ay nakakristo na, you have already the capability, the ability no, to hear from the Lord. Your ears, your eyes are already blessed. Your eyes are already blessed. Your ears are already blessed. The veil is removed in Christ already and it has been given to you to know. It has been given to you to know the mystery of the kingdom. Hallelujah. We will know. It has been given. Dina. Kung baga, pag sinabing given, you receive, it's there already. Binigay na ng Panginoon nung tinagap mo si Jesus kaysa buhay mo. But we will know the mastery of the kingdom. And we are always hear that, that everything we need in life is in the kingdom of God. So everything we need in this life here on earth is in the kingdom of God. And God already blessed our ears, blessed our eyes. And he said that he gave us already the ability to know. Ha, ha, ha. It's given us. It has been given to know, to you to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Kung binigay na pala ni God yun, na kaya na nating malaman yung mystery of the kingdom of God, then if our heart are open, our ears are open, what will happen? You will know. And then you will know. Then you will know. You will know. Then because you know, you can enjoy everything what's in the kingdom of God. Amen? Pero ang tanong nga, do you really want to know? Do you really want to know? Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Sabi mo, yes, Lord. I really want to know. Ooh, hallelujah. Everything, everything, Lord. Everything pertaining my life. I really want to know everything, Lord. In Jesus' name. Second Corinthians 3.16. Therefore, we do not lose our, even though our outward man is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. Amen? Outward man natin, no? Outward man natin is perishing, yet the inward man is being renewed day by day. So can you imagine if our inward man is being renewed day by day, what happened to the outside, the in outward man, the outward man? Hallelujah. Praise God. Magiging stronger day siya. Mag kaya we're not, we will not focus talaga on the outside. We need to focus on, on the inside. Amen? Kaya huwag dahil tayong mabahala kung nagpiperish man yung ating outward man. Ang importante yung inner man po natin. Amen? Na narinun siya 
day by day. So to hear and receive what the Lord says requires humility. If you really want to know, there's humility. Amen? Isa po yun sa requirement talaga. Isa yun sa requirement kung gusto nating makarinig, kung gusto nating makikita yung plano ni God sa ating mga buhay. Many times, our flesh and carnal mind does not really want to hear what the Lord says. And so we decide to close our eyes and ears. Ah, alam ko na yun. Naririnig ko na yun. Alam ko na yun. Naririnig ko na yun. Pride makes excuses. Humility makes adjustment. Amen? Ito yung kaibahan. Pride makes excuses. Humility makes adjustment. Hallelujah. That's why when the truth comes, then you will adjust. That's why the Lord said, how the Lord said, he said that uh, he will teach the humble. Amen? Because these humble people will learn, will know how to adjust. No? Maroon tayo mag-adjust. Jesus said to the one who has ears to hear is the one who will really hear. Do you have ears to hear? Yes. That's why be careful. Strive on offense. Strive on offense is the enemy. Strive on offense will cause dullness, itching of our hearing. Amen? Kaya kailangan talaga walking in love. Amen? If you have ears to hear, you will hear. Hallelujah. Ears to hear is a real desire. Okay. Dito tayo ha. Ears to hear is a real desire and also to know. Masasabi mo that you have ears to hear because you have a genuine desire to know. Amen? You make a quality decision to follow the plan of God. You make a quality decision to fulfill the will of God in your life. You make a quality decision to, pur pur to serve God's purpose in your life. Then, because you make that decision, then you have ears to hear. Hallelujah. So, napapansin po natin mga kapatid, ang part po talaga ay decision. The moment na mag-decide tayo, pa! Grace is there. Help is there. Ability is there. All God's supply is there. Na magagawa natin, pinapagawa ni God sa atin. Amen? Mark 4, verse 9. Sabi mo, I have ears to hear. I have eyes to see. And I can always hear when the Lord speak to me. Hallelujah. And he said to them, he who has ears to hear, let him hear. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. So confess me on. Thank you, Lord. I have ears to hear. That's why I believe. You are here tonight because you have ears to hear. Hallelujah. And you will hear tonight. The Lord will speak to you. Hallelujah. So verse 23, sinabi niya, if anyone has ears to hear, let him hear. Let him hear. So meron talagang ayaw. Makinig. Meron talagang ayaw. But if you have ears to hear, tignan mo, kahit dito sa statement na to, hindi ang Diyos na mimili. If anyone hears to hear, let him hear. So kung wala, it's okay. So hindi siya namimili. Hindi siya, hindi siya, ayaw mo kasi makikinig. Ikagay na mga magulang pag ayaw mo makinig, pinipigit yung tainga mo. Ang Diyos hindi. No? Hindi siya, hindi siya nangungurot ng tainga. No? Ayaw mo makinig. But God said, Hallelujah, if anyone has ears to hear. Let him hear. Hallelujah. So you are the gatekeeper of the garden of your heart. Tayo po yung gatekeeper of the garden of your heart. You are the one who chooses to open or close the gate of God's word. Yung sinabi ko lagi ng ating mata at ating tainga, siya ang portal, door, sa puso po natin. Whatever you want to put in your heart, it comes from your ears and your eyes. 
Our heart is like a garden. Kung anong itinatanim mo, anong pinapanood mo, ano yung lagi mong tinitingnan, ano yung lagi mong pinapakinggan, kapatid, lahat ng yun, papasok sa puso mo. Amen? Papasok lahat yun sa puso mo. Kaya kung gusto mong mabilis, be careful. Kung gusto mong mabilis, be choosy. Tingin mo, hindi makakatulong sa puso mo. Ayoko niyan. Hindi makakatulong. Gusto ko to. Ito yung makakatulong sa akin. Kaya mabilis ang paglago. Mabilis ang proseso. Huwag mong paghalu-haluin. Parang ganito lang yan. Naglinis ka. Yung word of God, di ba? Yung word of God is, ano? Uh, cleansing. Water. Like water. Nag-cleanse. Yung mga toxic. Yung mga unbelief. Tapos ngayon, at the same time, isang araw naglilinis ka. Yung araw na yung dalawang ginagawa mo, naglilinis ka tapos naglagay ka ulit ng basura. Naglilinis ka, naglagay ka ulit ng basura. Minsan, mas marami pang basura na lagay mo kaysa nililinis mo. Ay, wala talagang nangyayari. Amen? Kung maglilinis ka, linis na lahat. Huwag mo nang lagyan ng basura. Kaya ingat tayo ngayon, anong ilalagay natin sa mata natin at saka sa tainga po natin. Kasi yung po yung garden, yung heart po natin, no? Kung ano yung ilalagay po natin, you are the one who chooses to open or close the gate of the word in your heart. So actively and aggressively choose to open your spiritual eyes and is to hear what the Spirit is saying to you. Amen? Hindi talaga tayo pipilitin. Hindi talaga tayo pipilitin. Ano ba talaga? Do you really want to hear from God? Do you really want to know the plan of God? Then have ears to hear and ears eyes to see. Amen? Because if you have, kasi sinabi nga niya, God given you to know, He has given us to know the mystery of the kingdom of God. Mayroon ka ng ability. Mayroon ka ng ability na binigay ni God to know. But the question is, do you, do you really want to know? Do you really want to know? Then if you really want to know, you ha- must have ears to hear and eyes to see. Amen? You have the humility. You need to adjust. Pag baron sinabi ni God, pa, mag-adjust ka ngayon. Wala nang excuses. Amen? So never ask the Lord to open the eyes of your heart. No, may kanta yun. Paborito ko dati. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to... Tayo po yung mag-open. Tayo po yung mag-open ng ating puso. Amen? It is your job to open your own eyes and ears by decision and faith. You can then ask the Lord to flood your eyes with light. Father, thank you so much, Lord God. I open to you my ears. I open to you my eyes. And thank you, Father. Thank you, Father God. Lord, I pray that my heart will be flooded with more light in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father, for my heart will be flooded with more light. The entrance of your word will give me more light and it will be flooded with more light. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. So if you don't take this first step to open your spiritual eyes and ears, the other key listed below will not bring much benefit. Saboy mo. You cannot ask for revelation. Amen. Di mo ngayon, hindi ka na ngayon makahingi kay God ng revelation. Di ba yung lagi natin sa efficient sa ating daily devotion, no? Yung ating scriptural prayer. Paano mo ngayon mahingi yung spirit of wisdom, spirit of knowledge, spirit of spiritual understanding and revelation if you will not open your eyes and ears? Hallelujah. Praise God. Kasi ito talaga yung first step for more revelation. Ito yung more step for more wisdom. Ito yung steps for more spiritual understanding. Ito yun, by opening your ears, by opening your heart. So tingnan natin sa Ephesians 1. I do not cease to give thanks for your making mention of you in my prayers, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory, may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Tumin mo ha? 
the wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of Him. Oho, in the knowledge of the Lord. So pag mayroon na tayong wisdom, mayroon tayong revelation in the knowledge, wow! Praise God! Hallelujah! Talaga, ang mangyayari, ang mangyayari, you will continue to rise. You continue to rise up. You will continue to arise in every situation. Amen? Because there is a revelation. There is a knowledge. Understanding. Patungkol sa Panginoon. Amen? Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord, my eyes are open. Yes, Lord, I open to you my eyes. I open to you my ears, Lord, God. Hallelujah. And Father, thank you. Thank you, God, for speaking to me. Lord, I welcome your word in my heart, Father. And thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, God, for light. Thank you, God, for light. Thank you, God. The entrance of your word in my heart, oh, Lord, God. Praise God. Will flood with more light in my life in the name of Jesus. And then, Lord, I will know. I will see. I will hear from you, Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, thank you, God, for increasing that revelation, increasing that wisdom, increasing, oh God, that spiritual understanding, oh Lord God. Hallelujah. Concerning your plan in my life, concerning your purpose in my life, concerning your will in my life, Father, in the Lord, I want to know you more in the name of Jesus. Amen. Makaaska na ngayon ng revelation. Why? Because your heart is open. Amen. Your heart is open. Sinabi sa James 4, James 4, you have not because you don't ask. So, yung kailangan natin gagawin. After, after you decide to open your spiritual eyes, ask God for the revelation. Ask God for the revelation. Ano mga situation mo ngayon sa buhay mo, kapatid? Hindi ang Diyos na sa surprise. Amen? But you can ask revelation, you can ask wisdom, you can ask spiritual understanding concerning the situation, and God will give it to you. And the moment you, oh, God gave you that wisdom, God tapos na ang challenge sa buhay mo. Amen? Because the light has come. The truth has come in the name of Jesus. Sa Matthew 21, 21, 22, 21, 22. And whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. Okay. You decide already to open your heart to God. You decide already to open your spiritual ears to God. And then you ask for wisdom. You ask for revelation. Believe that you have the wisdom. Believe that you have the revelation. Believe that you have spiritual understanding concerning your situation. Amen. Don't just ask, but believe. Whatever things you ask in prayer, believing you will receive. Believing you will receive. Believe what? Believe what? That he wants you to have revelation. Amen? You believe that God wants you to have revelation. It is his will for you to have revelation. Hallelujah. Praise God. Believe what? That he has heard you when you ask. Ito yung believing natin talaga. After open ka, nag ka ngayon, you ask God and then believe. Believe. Believe na mayroon kang revelation. Believe na narinig ka ng Panginoon sa 1 John 5 verse 14. Now this is the confidence that we have in him that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Revelation. God give us a revelation. It is his will for us to know the mystery of the kingdom. It is his will for us to have revelation. So if we know that what we ask for it is his will, then he hears us. And if we know that he hears us, whatever we ask, we know that we have the petition that we have asked of him. Kaya meron na kagad rest. Ano pa? Believe. Believe that you have received. Mark eleven twenty four. Therefore, I say to you, whatever things you ask, you ask for revelation. When you pray, believe that you receive them and you will have them. That's why you have revelation. Okay, thank you, Lord. Wag nang, wag nang laging, Lord, pahingin ang revelation. You believe already that you have the revelation. Kaya sunod mong gagawin, Lord, thank you for the increase of revelation. Thank you, Lord, for the increase of wisdom. Thank you, Lord, for the increase of my knowledge. Thank you, Lord, for the increase 
because you have. Kaya pag maghingi ka pa ng parang feeling mo wala ka pang revelation, ay mali yun. Dapat paniwalaan mo na mayroon kang revelation na, mayroon ka ng wisdom, mayroon ka ng spiritual understanding. Kaya every time na magbe-pray ka, Lord, thank you for the increase, thank you for more, more wisdom, more revelation, more spiritual understanding, more, 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 more. More health, more healing, more money, more. The moment you you ask and you believe, you're not asking again. You're you're asking for more na, more money, more health, more strength, more peace, more joy, more more. Because you believe you have it already. I mean, kaya pag hindi mo pa inarinig yung mga more 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 more, ang ginawa mo na more more, more ka. Amen? More, more yung ginagawa mo. Hindi ka nag more, 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 more. Nag more, more, more ka na tuloy. Amen? Mali yun. Okay. How do you know that you believe that you have already? Lord, thank you for my healing. Thank you, God. Thank you, God, for the complete manifestations of my healing. Thank you, Lord, God, for more strength. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, God. Thank you, Lord. I'm more healthier. I'm more stronger. I am more because you believe that you have it already. Amen? So, bakit? Nakita mo na kasi. May nakita mo na kasi kasi inopin mo na spiritual ears mo, spiritual eyes mo, kaya nakita mo na meron ka na. That's why you want more. Thank you God for more peace. Thank you God for more joy. Thank you God for more love. More love. Thank you God for more power. Aawitin mo na kagad yun. More love, more power, more of you in my life. More, more, more. Amen? Because God is God of more than enough. Hallelujah. Praise God. So you can ask the Lord to fill you with the knowledge of His will in any given area that you desire. You can ask the Lord to fill you with the knowledge of His will in any given area that you desire. Colossians 1.9 For this reason, Colossians 1.9 For this reason, We also sense that they were heard it, do not cease to pray for you and to ask that you may be filled with the knowledge of your will in all wisdom. Ito kayo lagi kong pinagpipray sa inyo. Father, thank you. Continue to fill them, Lord, with more wisdom, with more knowledge, with more spiritual understanding that you continue to walk forth and you fully pleasing, being fruitful in every good work. More na. More. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So ano kailangan natin gawin? We need to take time to ask the Lord and get, get in faith for the revelation. No? The secret things of the Lord belongs to Him, but He revealed it to us, for us. No? Binigay niya yun. Nireveal niya para gagawin natin. Not only for us, but for our descendants that we may do it. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. So hearing, so anong kailangan natin gawin pa? Hearing preaching and teaching with utterance of the Spirit. So kailangan talaga ang hearing ng preaching and teaching with utterance of the Spirit. Sa Ephesians 6 verse 19, And for me, sabi ni Apostle Paul, and for me that utterance may be given to me that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Kaya, kailangan yung ipagpipre talaga ang mga preacher that the Lord will give them the utterance. Yung utterance po, it is not from that person. It is the Lord speaking to us through that man through that five-fold ministry or through that preacher. Amen? Utterance is designed to do something. It is a spiritual impartation. And to the hearer, and the target of the utterance is the heart. Kaya walang mababago ang tao. Kag meron akong naring na preacher, speech is different from utterance. Amen? Kung nag-speech ka lang, nag-speech ka lang, it will not change lives of the people. But utterance will change the life because it is God speaking to us. 
And the target of the utterances is from the heart. Pagdating ko dito ng Sunday, sa bahay, sabi nung uh, sister, kapatid ng sister-in-law ko, sabi niya, ate, ano, kanina, nanon pala siya ng live, kanina, iba talaga ang dating ate yung sinabi mo na ano, Jesus is here. Ano ang gagawin mo? Ano ang reaction mo? Kung nasa bahay niyo ang pinaka-idol mo, ano yung reaction mo? Anong gagawin mo? Anong maramdaman mo? Kung pinaka-idol mo, sabi niya, iba ang dating. Iba. So, it was the utterance that ang target ng Lord sa heart niya. So, nagkaroon siya ngayon ng revelation. Nagkaroon siya ngayon ng revelation. Nagkaroon siya ng knowledge na oo nga pala. Kaya nung narinig ko sa kanya, ngumiti ako because I know mayroong ginagawa si God sa buhay niya. Did I know it? No. Kaya, mapapansin mo, mayroong out sa heart po natin. Bakit mayroong out na yun? Because it is the utterance of the Lord. Ina-utter niyo yung utterance. Ina-utter niya. It's the word of God. From the heart. Utterance kasi is from God. Put it in your heart and comes out in your mouth. Amen? Once na nirelease niyo, there's power in that utterance. Kaya e sinabi na Apostle Paul, pray that the utterance, pray for me, that utterance may be given to me. Who give the utterance is God. Who give the utterance that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel. Hallelujah. So, important yun. Preaching with utterance brings making known. Amen? Kaya pag walang utterance, walang making known of the mystery. Hindi mo malalaman kasi walang utterance. No? Paul asked for prayer for utterance because he realized that without utterance, there is no making known There is no revelation. Hallelujah. So utterance will make known. No utterance will make known the mystery. It was a mystery for us. But when the utterance comes, then that is no longer a mystery. It's a revelation now. You make known the mystery. Nalalaman mo na yung mystery. Dati mundi siya na yung nawan. Dati parang wala ang dating sa'yo. Pero nung nagkaroon ng utterance, pak, na-enlighten ka, nagkaroon ngayon ng revelation sa'yo. Amen? Hallelujah. So saan yung mga atras yun? Kaya kailangan talaga ipag-pray yung mga preacher eh, kasi saan naman mag-benefit? Tayo din po. Pag ilalabas yun, will God will give them the utterance, pack those things, the mystery, anong sa'yo, it will make known to us kaya magkaroon tayo ng revelation. Then, pack light has come. Amen? Colossians 2. Kung tamag-tama rin nyo pa rin ito, oh, grabe na talaga kayo. Grabe! package. Mabubuhay na kayo dito. Amen? Mayroong daily week meditation. Mayroong scriptural prayer. Mayroong declaration. And don't do it. Check, 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 check lang. Do it by faith. Practice mo dito maging open ka sa Panginoon. And then, kikita mo yung progress of mo. Kung paano siya ka powerful sa iyo. Be earnest and unwearied and steadfast in your prayer life, being both alert and intent in your praying with thanksgiving. And at the same time, pray for us also that God may open a door to us for the word, the gospel, to proclaim the mystery concerning Christ the Messiah on account of which I am in prison. Hallelujah. So Paul asked for prayer that God would open a door for the word to speak the mystery and make it manifest. Hindi lang siya sasabihin kundi imamanifest. Mayroong demonstration na mangyayari. No? Mayroong demonstration na mangyayari. Mayroong manifestation na mangyayari doon sa mga salita. Kasi ganito yun, totoo yun. Pag walang utterance, walang manifestation. Amen? Kasi walang making known of the revelation. Kaya walang manifestation. 
So without God opening a door for the word, the mystery will not be manifest. The mystery will not be revealed. Naka-close ka pa rin. Amen? Which is yun ang ayaw ni Satan kasi para ayaw niyang malaman mo ang katotohanan. Ayaw niyang makikita mo ang katotohanan. Hallelujah. Another key. Woo. For revelation is pray in tongues for revelation. 1 Corinthians 14. Nagpipray in tongues pa ba kayo? For he who speak in a tongue does not speak to man but to God. For no one understand him. However, in the spirit he speaks mysteries. In the spirit he speaks mysteries. So when I speak in tongue, I speak in mysteries. Amen? So when I speak in mysteries, God will reveal it to me. Mysteries prayed out. Once na pinagpipray mo yung mysteries, once mysteries prayed out, it brings revelation. Kaya walang revelation din pag hindi ka nagpipray in the spirit. Amen? Kaya ito yun, totoo yun. Ilang beses ko rin experience. Yung hindi mo alam yung sitwasyon, hindi mo alam yung sitwasyon, hindi ko alam mo ano ituturo, lahat ni lahat. Okay, Lord. Hindi ko alam. Okay, I will pray the Spirit. Ora manjo koromonde de yakacho koromonde de mamia. Okay. Okay. Tinatap in mo lang, ginagamit mo lang yung tongues. Amen. Kinokonik mo lang, tinatap is God who give us that even in our prayer. It is God who give us the utterance to pray. When we bring, you bring out the utterance, it, it will bring revelation. Kapag hindi ka nagpipray, ang prayer kasi hindi, yung prayer in tongues kasi galing dito. Hindi from out in, from inside. It's the mystery. We bring out that in prayer in tongues, prayer in the spirit. So when the mystery bring out, no, prayed out, ano nangyari? Okay. 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 Kaya yun, simple lang. Yung mga bagay na hindi mo talaga maintindihan, hindi mo alam, pray in the spirit. Bring it out. Pray it out. Because it will bring revelation. Amen? Kaya huwag mo talagang pasakitin yung ulo mo. Huwag mong pahirapan ang sarili mo. Amen? Pray in tongues. Pray in tongues. Hallelujah. Okay. Sa Amplified. Tingnan natin sa Amplified. For, no, for one who speak in an unknown tongue speaks not to man but to God. Okay? Nandahanin natin to, Kasi ito yung key ng great, great revelation. When we speak in tongues, we're not speaking to men, we're speaking to God. Hallelujah! For no one understands or catches his meaning because in the Holy Spirit he utters secret truth and hidden things not obvious to understanding. Okay, so... Mayroon situation na hindi ko alam anong gagawin ko. Okay? Anong ginawa ko? Okay? I talk to God by praying in the Spirit. I use my tongue. I use my tongue. I use that gift, the Spirit, the, uh, the gift to pray in the Spirit. Okay? I use that, the mystery. I use that. O Ramanzo, Golomonda, Dayamonzo, concerning the things. So, sino kausap ko si God? Patungkol doon sa mga bagay na yun. O Ramaze, Kilomonda, Deyakonzo, Moromo. Wala akong alam, hindi ko siya maintindihan. But I know, I know, I'm talking to God in the mystery. And then, ano mangyari? I bring it out. Then, revelation comes. Amen? Hallelujah. Kaya, patungkol sa spiritual na bagay, hindi dito dito sa puso. Woo! So when I pray in tongues, sa so 14 din, sa so 14, amplified. For if I pray in a known tongue, my spirit, by the Holy Spirit, within me, prays. So sino nagpipray? Ang spirit. By the Holy Spirit. So yung spirit mo at saka ang Holy Spirit, sila na ngayon nag-uusap. Okay. 
but my mind is unproductive. It bears no fruit and helps nobody. So when I pray in tongues, the Holy Spirit is at work. Up in the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit searching all things. Yes, even the deep things of God concerning the things. And then it revealed me. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard what the Lord has been prepared. But the Holy Spirit revealed it to us. So when? When you pray in tongues. When you tap in into the Holy Spirit. So ang revelation talaga, kailangan mo talaga matututo kang magpipray in tongues. Hallelujah. Praise God. So, ano pa ang kailangan? Meditation. Meditate to revelate. Meditate to revelate. Joshua 1.8 This book of the law shall not depart out of your mouth, but you shall meditate it on it day and night, that you may observe and do according to all that is written within it, for then you will make your way prosperous and then you shall deal wisely and have good success this book of the law shall not depart from depart out of your mouth so kailangan ang meditation meditate in god's word so that you may observe to do it if you observe something it means you see something that's a revelation napapansin niyo po ba na nagbabasa kay ng bible Tapos, ilang beses mo na siyang binabasa. Tapos, dumating isang araw. Hello? Mayroon kang nakikita. Parang, ngayon ka nagkaroon ng understanding. Parang, iba yung dating sa'yo na yun. Yun na yun. Dati hindi mo naman nakita. Pero bigla na lang, pa! Ah! Nagkaroon ka ng revelation. For God is not the author of confusion, but of peace, and in all the churches. Ah. Sa kagano ka kag... Ah. Well. Tapos parang, parang, ano yung response? Parang nagugulat ka, parang nasa siya ka, tapos nasa parang natatawa ka. Galing, no? Oo nga, no? Na-open na. Nagkaroon na ng life. Nagkaroon na ngayon ng revelation. Hallelujah. Tapos pag yun nag-speak sa iyo, hindi mo na yung makakalimutan. Tandang-tanda mo na kung saan yun sa Bible mo. Kailangan ka maroon din Bible. Tandang-tanda mo yun. Kahit ito kapikit ka, alam mo kung saan yun. Alam mo kung saan yun. Kaya yung Bible mo, kapatid, kung hindi mo alam kung saan yun, ibig sabihin, hindi mo pa nakita. Kasi the moment makita mo sa Bible mo yun, tandang-tanda mo yun. Tapos ngayon, papupunta ka sa ibang Bible, hindi alam ko yun sa Bible ko, hinikita ko yun sa Bible ko. Sa ibang Bible, hindi mo siya makikita. Pero sa Bible mo, makikita mo talaga siya. Alam ko doon sa Bible ko, nakikita ko sa Bible ko. Tapos paghawak mo ng Bible mo, makikita ko talaga siya. Pero sa isang Bible, hirap ko makikita mo. Amen? So we, nagliwana na, nag-speak na, hindi mo na yung makakalimutan. Yun na yung word na yun na nire-reveal na sa'yo na dapat mong gawin. Kasi pag ginagawa mo yun, then more revelation, more light, He will give it to you. Amen? That was mystery before. But when God give you the revelation, that is for you. That is for you. Na dapat gagawin mo yun. Pagkatapos ngayon, oh, kagaya yung ano, Yung isang example ko, yung ating awit sa offerings dati, Give thanks with a grateful heart. Give, uh, di, give and it shall come back to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together. Give. Mm. Tapos nagkaroon ako ng revelation. Oh, ano? Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, press down, shake it together. Oh, ano? Pakit ako doon sa stage. Ibang impact sa kanta na nagkaroon ng revelation. Kaya, nagkaroon din ng, ng stretch yung aking faith doon sa giving because of that revelation. Amen? Kaya pag nagbigay ka, hindi ka na malulungkot. Kasi alam ko, it shall come back to me. Good measure, praise down, shaking together, running over. 
because of that revelation. So kapatid, toto yun. If you are faithful, if you are obedient, if you are willing, once the revelation, once the word of God has been revealed to you, doon ngayon makikita kung talagang ikaw ay faithful hindi. Yun ang basihan ng faithfulness mo. Yun ang basihan ng diligence mo kung yun talagang ginawa. You know. Because if it's really the Lord, you believe it's, it is really the Lord speaking to you through the word, why not your obeying it? Amen. Kaya makikita mo, bakit walang progress? Because God revealed it to you, but you are not consistent, you are not doing it to you. Kasi sinabi niya, di ba, He has given, and it, hindi niya binigay, even he, what He has, it will be given. Aalay siya ng Panginoon. Pero once ibinibigay niya sa atin yung revelation at ginagawa natin yun, then, then more revelation will come. He will give us more revelation. He will give. Kaya hindi nga talaga boring ang buhay kasi marami kang gagawin, kasi marami yung pinapakita si God sa iyo. Amen? Kaya marami kang gagawin. Hallelujah! Praise God! So, ano ba? Yung, yung Joshua 1.8, no? Nereveal niya yun, no? Nakita mo na ngayon. Kaya, nung nagminimedit ka, na-observe mo na ngayon yung Word of God, na-observe mo na. Pag sinabi mo, na-observe, mayroong kang nakikita. Kaya, nung nakikita mo na yun, nagagawa mo na yun yung revelation na yun. And then, sinabi niya, you will make your way prosperous and you will have good success because you saw something. You saw something in the Word of God. God is revealing you something in the Word of God through that meditation. Amen? Kaya pag na-observe mo, kaya be observant, then practice mo din yung observant. So, ibig sabihin ng meditation is you reflect, you moan, you mutter, you ponder, you make a quiet sound, you meditate or com- contemplate something as one repeats the word. Yes, Lord. You said in your word, speak to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea. In Jesus' name, it shall be removed in Jesus' name. Pak, nagrema yun, no? Kita mo revelation. Then you start to speak. In Jesus' name, I command you, get out in my body. In Jesus' name, I command you because of the word, the revelation. Hallelujah. Kaya pag walang revelation, walang word, ano gagawin mo? Wala. Wala. Kaya tanggapin mo lahat ang mga bagay-bagay. Kasi walang hindi mo hindi mo na re, hindi na reveal so what should you what you should what should you meditate on you meditate on the scripture that stand out to you ano bang nag stand out sa yung binasa mo yung bible mo meron kang nakikita nagrerema nagrerema nagliliwanag yun yung ayun yung tayuan mo yun yung ayun i meditate mo god said si keep first the kingdom of god is righteous and all the other god said god said god said kasi kung ano na yung nagrerema yun ang tatayuan mo instruction that the lord speak to you revelation from preaching and teaching yun yung mga i meditate mo Kagaya yung testimony ko kagabi, di ba? I heard, if you want to step up, step out. It was an utterance. I received that. Pop! Nag-impact. So, nung ginagawa ko, step out. Step up. I want to step out. I need to step up. If I want to step up, I need to step out. Step up. Step up. Hindi siya automatic. Narinig mo, tap, mini-meditate mo, and then, pop, instruction ng gagawin mo, tapos. Huwag lang, huwag lang, pagsagi, kalimutan, hindi, keep on meditating. Keep on meditating. Keep on meditating. Hanggang makita mo na ngayon, pop! And then, mayroon ang heart na sumunod. Amen? Hallelujah. So, ano pa? Study what you have heard for revelation. Study natin. No, Mark 4.24, the level of thought and study you give to the truth you hear will determine how much revelation you get from the word. Itingnan natin sa mati. Mark 4. And he said to them, be careful what you are hearing. Hey, hey, be careful what you are hearing. The measure of thought and study you give to the truth you hear 
will be the measure of virtue and knowledge that comes back to you and more besides will be given to you who hears so the measure the level of thought and study gave will be determine how much revelation to get from that word magdedetermine talaga yun totoo yun mga kapatid practice nyo lang talaga na lagi kayo makikinig ng preaching practice nyo lang talaga hindi madali ang buhay hindi madali ang buhay kasi patuloy na lumalambot yung puso mo patuloy na lumalambot ang puso mo at nag yes ka na lang lagi kay Lord okay Lord yes 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 ang sarap na ngayon pakikinggan ng word of God kung pwede palang magbababad ka sa word of God word of God na lang talaga pakikinggan mo ang sarap ang sarap kaya magkaroon ka na maraming revelation liwanag Okay, last verse for tonight. 2 Timothy 2.15 Be diligent to present yourself approved to God, a worker who does not need to be ashamed, right? In dividing the word of truth. Isa to sa mga minibilitid ko dati in IV. Don't present yourself to God. Uh, do your best to present yourself to God as a workman who does not need to handle his word truth correctly. Pero yung, yung in, in IV na yun, yung dalaw, ilang word, do your best to present yourself to God as a workman who does not need or who does not ashamed to handle the truth. Lagi kayo minimeditate, nagrarama yun sa akin. Kaya yun ang ginagawa ko. I really do my best to present myself to God. Amen? So, kapatid, kahit na hindi kabuuan ng scripture, kahit isa o dalawang word lang doon na nagraraman, nag-speak sa'yo, may keep on meditating in it. Bukas makalang, kikita mo sarili mo, ginagawa mo na yun. Ando doon na yung sarili mo, doing already what God has revealing to you, has given you the instruction. Amen? Sa King James Version, study to show thyself approved unto God, a workman, that needed not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. So, kailangan na nito mag-study. Keys, again, to a greater revelation, first, open your eyes and ears, spiritual eyes and ears, then, ask for revelation. Without the first, you cannot ask the revelation. Hallelujah. And then, hearing, preaching, teaching, with utterance of the Spirit, and then praying in tongues, for revelation, meditate to revelate, observe hanggang makikita mo, and then study what you have heard for revelation. Amen? Ito niriribinigad, keep on studying on the scripture. Pakikinggan mo lagi, pakikinggan mo lagi. Bukas makalaw, makikita mo, ginagawa mo na siya. Amen? Hallelujah. Balikan natin yung ating scripture kanina sa Jephthah 29. Jephthah close. Lahat ng bagay binigay na ni God sa atin. At kailangan na talaga natin patrabuhin. And praise God from a willing heart. Ito lang yung trabaho natin. Amen. Tingnan mo how God is faithful. Kung paano niya tayo binibigod sa word of God. Maging open, magiging willing. And then now, ito na ang trabaho natin. Deuteronomy 29, the secret things belong to the Lord, our God, but those things which are revealed, paano niya revealed? By opening your heart, by opening your eyes and ears, okay, and so forth, pray in the Spirit, belong to us and to our children. Okay, the revelation that God revealed to you belong to you, not only to you, to your children. Sayang kung hindi mo ginagawa yun. Amen. Paano mo yun ipapamana sa mga anak mo? Sinabi, belong to us and to our children forever that we may do all the words of this law. Why God reveal it to us? So that you may do it. Kaya pag hindi mo ginagawa yun, unong nire-reveal ni God sa'yo, sinasabi mo lang kung hindi mo ginagawa, kawawa yung mga anak mo. Because it's not only belong to you, but to your children forever. Hallelujah. 
Praise God. Kasi the moment ginagawa mo yun, nakikita na mga anak mo, susunod yung mga anak mo. Kasi that you may do it. Amen? Kunyari sa tithing, nire-reveal God sa tithing, nakikita na mga anak mo na tighter ka. Ginagawa na mga anak mo, tighter ka. Hindi lang sa'yo. Mga anak mo, mga apo mo, generation generation yun ang gagawin nila habang buhay kasi yun nire-reveal so kung ikaw nire-reveal hindi mo ginagawa kawawa yung mga anak mo it belongs to us and to our children forever everything that God reveals to us that's the treasures that inheritance binigay niya sa atin now once na ginagawa natin yun it will affect our family it will affect your generation Amen. Hallelujah. At mag-increase yung revelation, mag-increase yung revelation, mag-increase yung revelation doon sa mga anak mo. Woo! Hallelujah. Praise God. Kasi bakit? Hindi na sila nahirapan. Nakikita nila sa buhay mo eh. Ginagawa mo eh. Pagkatapos ngayon, nakikita nila. Ginagawa nila. Nakikita din ang mga apo mo. Mga anak nila. Ginagawa nila. Hallelujah. Pero pag hindi mo ginagawa, kawawa sila. Amen. Kawawa sila. Kaya praise God. Praise God. Ganito kasimple lang ang buhay po natin. Ganito. Jesus came to simplify our life. Amen. Hallelujah. There's more truth talk na kailangan natin malalaman. Woo! Ang dami ko pang sasabihin. Pero sige na. Tapos na tayo. Next bukas na naman. Next week na naman pala. Let's pray. Father, we thank you so much for God's word. Thank you, Lord God. And Lord, continue to. This is our prayer, oh God. We will not stop praying. We will not stop praying. I will not stop praying, Lord God, for my brothers and sisters, Lord God, that you will continue to fill us with the knowledge of your will and all wisdom, spiritual understanding, Lord, that each one of us will continue, God, into that, woo, into the revelation, continue to walk into the revelation, Lord God, that you give us already or you give to them, you reveal them to them already, oh God, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, thank you because you reveal it to us, oh God, not only for us, but for our children forever, that we may do it, Lord, that we may do it in the name of Jesus and our children will do it forever, Father, in the name of Jesus. And Lord, we believe for more. We believe for more. Yes, we are willing. We are willing. This is now the application, oh Lord God, of what we have learned, dear God, for a willingness, for a willingness, willingness, willing to be willing, Lord. <laughs> so we are willing. We have eyes to ears, we have eyes to see in the name of Jesus. And the good thing, oh God, because you said your word, then we will prosper and successful in everything we do. We will make our way prosperous and successful in the name of Jesus. Kaya Panginoon, salamat po sa word mo ng gabi. Salamat sa revelation, Panginoon. Salamat ugat sa mga utterances, so God. Salamat ugat sa mga puso, Panginoon, God. Lord, willing to act on what we heard in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, and we love you, Lord. I seal this word, oh God, that we heard, oh God, in a growing faith class from Monday to tonight, dear God, in Jesus' name. Thank you, God, for the increase. Thank you for the manifestation. In the name of Jesus, thank you for our progress, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Let's continue to declare Jesus is Lord. Satan is defeated. I am victorious. My faith is fed. My faith grows grow stronger. I learn how to be an overcomer. I walk by faith. I live by faith. I overcome the world by faith. I'm strong in faith, giving glory to God. Amen. So see you tomorrow in our becoming a better leader. Thank you. Be blessed. I love you all and be safe.